Malala police are searching for Fox 12's most wanted after dozens of cars have been broken into all over the city. Police believe the same teenage suspects could be behind them all. Fox 12's Brenda Kelly spoke to one family who police say had two cars hit in just one night. The Zepatella family lives on a busy corner in Malala. A tall fence blocks wandering eyes from peering in and that's just the way they like it. Just moved into this neighborhood within the last four months. Steve Zepatella never thought in this small town his family would be a target for thieves. We came out the day after Christmas to go somewhere and the doors were opened and everything was scattered out of the glove compartment. On the night of Christmas, police say two of their cars were rifled through. One was his daughter's truck, her art supplies, textbooks, and an irreplaceable photo album gone. It totally violates my privacy and the family's privacy. And police say they're not the only ones. Dozens and dozens of reports just like the Zepatellas have been taken by officers since Christmas Eve. Here's one example from police. They're looking for this suspect and this one too. Investigators say the same couple of people are likely behind all of the car prowls and they believe they're teenagers. Officers tell me one case involved a car broken into with guns inside. But instead of stealing them, sunglasses were taken instead. Hearing that it's happening every single day, it's a little bit disturbing. It can be easy to forget, or maybe you're just so trusting of your neighborhood that you don't lock your car. But thieves can target any place at any time, and police say it takes a clean car and one that's locked to best protect yourself. There's break-ins everywhere, and you know, it doesn't matter. Really, all the cameras do and locks do is keep an honest person from making a stupid decision. Police ask people report any and all suspicious activity, no matter how insignificant it may seem. Reporting in Malala, Brenna Kelly, Fox 12 Oregon.